joined by Tuscum head coach Brandon Steele after his team defeats Bluefield State by a score of 15 to 4 this afternoon. Coach, first things first, Garrett Dupuy, 5 for 6 today at the plate. He's a guy that's been, you know, at bats, he's been looking for at bats. Got a chance today and he made the most of it. Yeah, Garrett's, you know, battled some injuries. He's been in and out of there a little bit. And we're, we're looking for some stability and consistency out of the first base and DH spot. And to, to have the results that he was able to have today as far as at bats for us were huge. Um, and, and that's really what we're striving for is to find some consistency that we know every day what we're going to get out of that spot. And, you know, if you look at the first base spot for us as a whole, it hasn't been productive regardless of who we've put over there. Um, so that's a nice trend to have that switch ways. Nine pitchers today for nine innings, you know, the old Johnny Holstaff deal. Some guys threw pretty good today. And it's just, it's good to see some guys get a chance to get out there and, and get some innings. I mean, that's what these games are all about. Well, you know, we've had some, some weeks where we've had some pretty good starting outings that some of our bullpen guys haven't got the work they've needed. Uh, so we went in today with the intent to try and get some guys some work and make sure they're sharp for, for the big conference series we have this weekend. Six stolen bases today as a team without being caught. The running game seems like it's been more of at the forefront as it has been in, in, in previous years. Sometimes it's a, it's a product of what you got as an offense, and you've got some guys you can run. Yeah, I mean, I think if you ask any coach, they'd like to be able to have the ability to steal, but it depends on the personnel you have. And this year we have some guys that can run a little bit, and they've bought into what we're trying to do. And, and obviously, if you can move up 90 feet without putting the ball in play, that gives our offense, you know, an easier chance of scoring somebody. And, and they've done a, a nice job the last couple of weeks of really, you know, putting themselves in position to score. Um, and, and that's something we hope to continue to do. Speaking of guys who've been battled in injuries, Bradley Evans got a pinch hit, a pinch hit. Set. I think he might have hit it off the flagpole. It was darn close to it, and that was that was a swing. That was, that was as good a swing as you'll ever see. Yeah, you know, to have him out at the beginning of the year was tough for us because he's really going to be our DH. He, he solidified the opportunity to take that spot, and then the ham ate bone, and it was a slow process coming back. And we got him some some at bats last weekend, and. You know, just not seeing live pitching in a while, we're kind of easing him back into it. And today was an opportunity to get another bat, and he did the most of it. I think uh, they said it was 416 on track man, so he, he got a good piece of that. Carson Newman this weekend, a three-game series. The rivalry is always there. Mm -hmm. More importantly, you know, third place in the standings, a chance to, to, to get yourself in a position where you want to be coming down the stretch. Yeah, and that's something that, you know, we're, we're trying to not really talk about a whole lot, the fact that it's Carson Newman, um, because I think sometimes we can psych ourselves up or down, depending on who we're playing. And, you know, our focus is, is playing the game, playing against the game of baseball and, and having quality bats, making good pitches, and playing catch on defense. And that's something that we, we haven't been able to do for nine innings yet. Uh, I think the first three innings today, we gave it away a little bit on the offensive side. So the goal will be this weekend that when we go in there, we're playing a faceless opponent. We're just going to play against the game of baseball, and, and hopefully we can come out on top. Tuscan wins 15-4 over Bluefield State. For more on today's game, visit TuscanPioneers.com.